In Explore, we like to work through the Psalms by scheduling one for each Sunday. It's a great way to give rhythm and depth to our Bible reading and to gradually mine these wonderful songs for what they teach us about the Lord, the Christian life and how to deal with everything that this world throws at us. It might seem strange to read a hymn book. That's exactly what the book of Psalms is. But these songs for the soul can be read in a whole variety of different ways. We can read them as the heartfelt cries and prayers of the person who wrote them. The first few are all by David and his reflections and uh, cries to God in a variety of different circumstances. So we need to read and understand these songs as they were written and for the people who first heard them. And as we do so, they will inform our walk with God. They show us what the Christian life is really like. Not a bed of roses, not an easy road by any means, but a path that's often strewn with difficult questions, hardships, as well as rejoicing and joy. They teach us what to expect from the normal Christian life. But the Psalms are also deeply prophetic. And as we start to dig deeper, we will see Jesus shining through in all his glory. They speak about Christ and the new covenant in a whole variety of different ways. Well, the Psalms in this issue have a wonderful variety of themes. And as you read them Sunday by Sunday, you'll discover the following. You'll discover how to keep going, how we should pray for our enemies when we're filled with rage and anger and upset. We'll read the most frequently quoted part of the Old Testament by the New and discover why the Apostles saw Jesus so clearly in it. We'll see how God and the Gospel will satisfy our deepest human longing and needs. We'll find out how to reply to one of those annoying people who say, it may be true for you, but it's not true for me. We'll be trained in how to survive disasters without losing our heads or our souls. And we'll be reminded again and again and again how good and great and glorious our God is.